Hey guys, this is for Jeff. Jeff asks why some of us have so many speakers behind us and uh, is it is that necessary or can he get by with just one pair? And I think the answer is it, it, it's two part. Uh, first of all, you can get by with one pair. If that's what you have, that's what you have. If it's full range and you dial in and you, you're locked into them, of course, you know, that's what you should use. But the other part of the question, why do we have, some of us have so many pairs, it's like different lenses to the camera. Uh, you'll see behind me right here, the Adams, the big, large speakers, uh, nine inch drivers. Um, I get powerful, punchy bottom end. I get really pretty top end so I can dial in kick drums and the the uh, the uh, sparkle on an acoustic guitar, for example, or overheads on a drum set. But then at some point, I'm going to switch to the NS10s. Um, th those don't have a pretty top end and they don't have a, a powerful bottom end whatsoever. So I can hear all that overlapping mid-range and make my final EQ decisions in that, as well as also automate at a low volume right there. And, and I'm going to get... Um, I, something that when I turn it up sounds great on big speakers as well. Then lastly, behind me here, you see the Auratones. I hope you can see those back there. You'll notice that there's two speakers set by si uh, side by side off to the side. Essentially, I'm hearing mono. So I can double check the wide elements like power chords, acoustic guitars, anything that's panned real wide. I can tell uh, how loud they're actually going to feel when you're out of the sweet spot. So it's just three lenses to the same camera. So I hope that helps, Jeff.